Hey guys, it's Atia here. Welcome to my video about my nose job. In this video, I will take you to my pre-op appointment. I will take you to the operation. I will get the procedure and then we'll do like the first day or two of healing. And then in the next video, we'll do like the, the, rest, of the, <laughs> the rest of the healing and then also getting my cast removed. Um, I just also was just thinking about like, why did I get this? You know, I'm like literally staring at myself as I record this and I'm like, why did I get this nose job? And I'm just like, for me, it stems from trauma and not even heavy trauma. Just like, I don't know, people called me Little Wayne in high school and I made, it made me feel very masculine. And so I did something about it and it's, it's awesome. I love it. It doesn't even look good. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not showing you guys yet, but it doesn't even necessarily look good. It looks big, it looks piggish. I don't know why, but I love it. Like I love my face, I love it and I don't know, my nose before was fine, but I deadass have no allegiance to it. I don't know if that's bad or if that's good, but that's where I'm at. If you think I look busted, please let me know. If you think I look amazing, please let me know. You know what I'm saying? Actually, like, let me know that though. You know what I'm saying? But guys, this is just like a fun video. Um, I'm not gonna be like, if you hate plastic surgery, don't watch. No, nah, watch. You better watch them ads too, you feel me? Okay. Um. I love you guys. This is just gonna be a fun, funny video. That's just what all my videos are. And this one, I just happen to be getting a nose job. Okay, hey guys, so it's 7.52 a.m. right now and it's Wednesday. And today's the day of my pre-op appointment. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed, I'm not nervous, but I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm getting a nose job, okay. Get up, get ready, wipe this cream out my nose. Double strap gang, double Shut strap up. gang. <laughs> Beverly Hills. That's where I am right now for my no job consultation. It's just like you have all this anticipation and you're so nervous for this surgery and then it's just like it's here and i'm just at my pre-op i used to be like oh my god i'm gonna be at my pre-op and like this time tomorrow i'll be done with surgery and that's crazy anyway they're cleaning out the bigger room so that tim can come back with us and can film the pre-op and then dr Yu's gonna talk to us and then i'll see you guys at fucking surgery or whatever this is more projected yeah and while the tip is more projected i'm going to flatten the infra tip, this uh -huh. area of your nose, as well as make the nostrils a little bit straighter. Straighter in what way? So right now, there's a little bit of curvature and flare to the nostrils. Yeah. So they'll be straighter in that. That curvature is going to be flattened a little bit. So my and, only, yeah. And I'm removing some of the nostril. I kind of like the circular, like I don't want to go full flat. I don't so know. it will still have some. Mm -hmm but it will be more this kind of oval shape than it is right now. Okay. So the goal, at least when we consulted, was to reduce the width here mm -hmm. and reduce the width and flare here. Yeah. This is the point of the doctor's appointment where out of nowhere, even though I insisted I wanted a natural nose job and I did want a natural nose job. What the fuck? I decided to tell Dr. Yu that he could put a little, a little, a little Nike swoosh at the end of my nose. Now, if you don't know what I'm referring to, this is a photo of someone who has a nose job with a little swoosh, with a little, with a little ski slope there at the end of the nose. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's, let's continue. And I will be lifting up the infra tip or this area of the tip slightly. I'm like, it's so pro. I'm trying to go natural, but I would, you know, if, if you did end up doing a little swoosh, I'm okay with You're it. okay with it. Okay. I know it's pretty like Barbie yeah. thing. Good, like, good to know. You're yeah, okay with a little oh, slow. I had a thought process. I'm like, I'm getting a nose job. I might as well get a fucking nose job, you know? Okay. So yeah. That's good for me to know. I'm an actress. I want to, the main thing, I have so much faith in you and trust in you. Like, you're, this is your craft, you know? 
I want to look hot. I want to look fucking good. I want to come out looking <laughs> not pretty to prettier, prettier to way prettier. <laughs> so just like whatever, ultimately, when you get in there, you know, I have faith in your choices. You know, as long as I don't come out looking ugly, that's, that's my fear. That's my only fear. Okay, I got you. <laughs> you got me. So what I'm reading in between the lines of a little bit is that if the nose looks slightly done, you're okay with that. I have to be at the surgery center at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Guys, this time tomorrow, I'll have a different nose. It's gonna be like this. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I just put like my last little no lotion in my nose, like this antibiotic shit I had to put up there. We have to leave the house at about 4 a.m. to go to surgery, which I have to be there at 6. I just finished editing a video for you guys, and then that'll go up while I'm in surgery. My surgery outfit. <laughs> Some sweatpants that say NASA. A pajama shirt and then a little cookie I'm jacket here, guys but i'm just here with tim and rumi we're about to go to bed it's 11 it's 12 30 sorry we're gonna leave here at four in the morning yeah packed like a bag of painkillers and a neck pillow for the ride home after the procedure it's 3 30 a.m i'm in the shower now take my pill okay guys this pill i have to take is basically a anti-nausea med that you have to take before surgery so you don't throw up the 18 gallons of blood that you will inevitably swallow during that process yes i did throw up the day after surgery okay let's get to go now i'm awake i'm so excited <laughs> So we have 30 minutes to chill before I go into the surgery center, which is like that little door right where I'm pointing. Hi, BB. I'm just, I'm so sad I can't kiss him for so long. And like, we've just been so busy the past few days. Like, me. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you didn't have to leave each other. What you mean? For the surgery, you wish you could like come up. Mm. Yeah. There's Tim. I miss him. I miss you. I love you. Love you. Ah! Okay, guys, this is the surgery center. I mean, I guess it's like now. It's now or never, you know? Okay, y'all, let me tell you what's happening here. They brought me to this bougie-ass room, right? And then they're gonna tell me, like, to change. And then I change. And they gave me the surgery thong, which I did not show you guys, but I should have. And then, um... Wait, I do not remember taking those off. That's creepy. Um, and then, whatchamacallit, uh, the person came in and put my, um my IV in and then Dr. Yu came in and drew dots on my nose and then I literally went into surgery and 15 minutes later was out of surgery except it was really seven hours later high as hell about to throw up was like Tim if you don't turn on this camera right now
I feel like shit, guys. I do not feel good. Update, if you get a nose job and you live in a house two hours away from your procedure, <laughs> don't drive home. <laughs> yeah, coughing hurts my ribs like a bitch. The rib is the most painful part. It's not even pain yet. It's just like I can't reach for anything. And so coughing hurts the ribs. <clears throat> and uh, Tim is like the best husband. You can't have him. You can't even look at him. You can't even think about him. Shit, I'm, don't talk about him. Uh, uh, he's taking such good fucking care of me. Okay, guys, we're gonna close out the first half of this video here. Um, uh, so the roughest part of the whole surgery was right there, that car ride, as well as the first three hours I got home. I actually didn't record between that last shot in the car and this shot here hours later after I had thrown up, after the nausea passed, and after I popped a promethazine. Um, I'm gonna get into a lot more detail about the healing process, but quite frankly, to be honest, after that first night of nausea, it was pretty smooth sailing for me. I never got terrible bruising, um, and I didn't ever terribly swell up, but I definitely tried to prep as much as I can. Please leave any and all comments you have about anything you saw in this video below, and any that I could answer in the next video, in which case I will, I mean, in which I will show you the rest of my healing as well as getting my cast removed. Like, you'll see my fucking nose, and it won't be the nose but it'll be a nose you know and i'm so excited um all right i hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys so much um there will be a few more non-nose related videos out before the next nose one but that'll be out soon okay bye. eric darnell he's sitting on his couch i wish t tim came but i was afraid because of covid that they wouldn't let tim come up but now i'm really lonely and scared for my surgery so <laughs> okay dots in my face great on this couch, it's floating with the house, it's green like the couch. Um, and he really doesn't, I don't even know what to say. Hey, I'm done going off because this song is too short. Man, it's really too short because I need it to be short. Cause I'm really, really nervous. I don't know what to feel, man. I'm feeling really nervous. Uh, I'm just kidding about the nervous. It was just a good line to get them really feeling for me. I need your feelings.